yeah, 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 yeah. Moving, 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 yeah. Hi, everyone. Welcome to lesson two of the Lego Mindstorm EV3 sensors and motors uh, set of lessons. This is the kind of the, the entry page into the uh, PowerPoint presentation that I put together to kind of talk about the, what the lessons are. I'm going to try and follow this lesson plan. So this is just a picture of the different kinds of sensors and motors you can get. I'm just going to go down to the second page. Um, basically, we've already done lesson one, which is the introduction to this kind of uh, video set of uh, video series set of lessons that I'll be putting together over, hopefully over the next couple of days. Um, the lesson right now that we're in right now is build the robot. We're going to build the robot in this lesson. This will be about a 30-minute lesson probably by the time we're all done. And But at the end of it, we'll have our robot built. And that's what we're going to then use to place some sensors on it. And so I'll walk you through the infrared touch and color sensors. And then we'll do a little bit of remote control. I'll show you how to program that. And then we'll do our motors and I'll talk about some of the sensors you can get uh, in addition to the ones that come in the kit. So without any further ado, I'm just basically going to pop out of this program. Uh, sorry, we're going to pop out of PowerPoint. And I'm going to switch over to Lego Mindstorms. So if you don't mind um, just bearing with me, I'm just going to close down this PowerPoint. We're going to start Lesson 2. Okay, let's close this down. And as you can see, I've already launched the Mindstorm software. So if you don't mind launching the Lego Mindstorm EV3 Home Edition software, I'll show you how we're going to go about finding the uh, project that we're going to be uh, using as our build. So um, basically, if you look at these robots, they're kind of cool. You can make all these yourself and follow the instructions. But what we're going to do is we're going to pick um, Tracker over here. And the reason we're going to pick Tracker is because it's got a good base here. And uh, the first part of the build of this um, robot is to get a base down and that's what we're going to use as a base for ourselves to create a robot that we can then kind of fool around and control. So the way that you open that is you're just going to click on, once you've clicked on the tracker, click on build and program and what's going to pop up is some kind of introduction. You can like take a look here. This is kind of the first build. There's a little bit of a different build on it that you can do and then it's got claws. So it's got about what, three... Yeah, it looks like it's got about three or four different mechanisms that you can put in the front. And that's all kind of taking uh, advantage of the small motor in the front um, to, to operate different things. But we're not going to worry about that right now. So click over here on this notebook, and that's going to open up the content editor. And basically the way that LEGO Mindstorms um, works, and the uh, what they do is they walk you through these builds uh, sequentially and it in kind of in an order so that you can kind of learn as you go um this one actually is a pretty good one hopefully everyone's already done it already but you're going to in the lesson uh in mission it breaks it up into missions but i don't want to get into that too much right now um that's probably another lesson to be covered but to uh to kind of shorten this video because i know it's going to be long we're just going to basically click on number one and once you click on number one it's going to pop up with that kind of missions uh, program. So what we're going to go down here is click on start building. Over on the far right, click on start building. And what's going to happen now is it's going to walk us through the building instructions on how to build this uh, this robot. But what we're going to do is we're only going to do, and I'm going to go through real quick, we're only going to do the first 10 steps will get us kind of the, this base. And then the next... 10 steps puts together two different tracks and on the final step we put the tracks together onto the robot and then finally we put the wiring in and that's going to be the end of what we do today so i'm going to i'm going to peel off to another video that's going to talk us through how to build and i'm actually going to have a video that's going to show you uh how to build this and i'm also going to have a little display in the top right corner to uh, show you visually how how, how 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 this build goes so without further ado let's go to the build program and thank you for listening bye bye it's gonna be a little awkward but i'll try and pull it off for the camera for you guys at home so we're on step one we're going to take this little square thing and we're going to take one of these connectors just snap it around like that Okay, step two, add one of these 
Okay, that's step two. Step three, I've already got these laid out. We're going to add eight of these. We're going to go one, okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so now I've got eight of those on there. Step four, take one of these. H cross beams, snapper there. Take another one of these H snapper there. Okay, that's step five. Oh, sorry, that was step four. Now in step five, we're going to take two of these connecty things and we're going to put them on the inside of this chassis like that. Inside of the chassis like that. Okay. Now start for step five, that was step five. Sorry, for step six, we're going to put two more on the other side. So we're going to put one, whoops, uh, put one in here like this. Okay. One. The second one in like that, two. Okay. Step seven, take a motor large motor and two of the red push pins okay put the motor like this okay so it fits in like that flip it upside down okay and push the pins from the inside all the way through one Go in, push it, Whoop. right there, one, two, okay. Now we're going to take four black connectors, one, two, three, four, and we're going to push them in like one, two, Three, four. Okay, that was step eight. Step nine, we're going to connect the other motor by flipping this whole contraption upside down. Sorry. Okay, and we need two of the red push pins. And we're going to place the motor here. And then from the inside, push outwards. One. Two. Okay. So now that's connected. That was step nine. Now step ten is to put the brick on the inside. Now, putting the brick in here, the issue is, is that I've got the battery pack. Let me see if I can get that out. I've got a battery pack on here, which actually makes this whole unit a little wider. So because it's a little higher, it doesn't fit. When you're supposed to snap this on top, it won't fit because this is supposed to be flush. If you have the regular back, it's flush. But because I've got a battery charger, it's not. So what I have to do is I'm going to have to heighten so I could snap this on there. So I'm going to skip this step right now. I'm not going to bother showing it right now because you don't really need to see it for this video. But for now, I'm not going to include this piece. Okay, I'm going to just put that aside. I'm going to go to step 11. Now, sorry, it's not really step 11. It's step one of the next build. So what we're going to do now is we're going to build the tread. So we can move this out of the way. And then we're going to take one uh, length of 13, two little black things, okay, and one double blue. And the, one of the black one goes in the second hole, the double blue goes in the fourth hole, and one of the black one goes in the second last hole, okay? Then we're going to take two, three connectors and connect them on the piece like that, and connect them uh, like that, say, so, 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 so like that. That was step two. Now step three is going to be to take 
one of these long gray rods and one of our tires and we're going to push through slot number one and we got to use the the short side of the tire has to be facing out so you push that through and it sits like that okay that was step three step four is simple take the yellow connector and put this on to hold it in place okay step five is one more gray and then two of these twosies I call them two of the twosies now what we're going to do is run the gray item through to beside the long blue and we're going to be careful because the twos have two different holes and you want to line up the serrated hole or the marked holes with the rod same kind of thing here we have to line this one up so it goes on properly here okay so now we've got the two items connected step six is to take one little one and a twosie and we're going to push a two with the proper edge there proper side sorry and then we're going to put the one in okay now we're going to take two of these we're going to take one five and we're going to take a red now of course the way that you measure that this is a five is that it's equal to five holes that's why they call it a five okay take it connect it together put one of the tire here one of the other tires there make sure they're equally spaced and then that goes into the third hole up it's closer to this three thing okay now step eight is to take a tire another five and a yellow holder okay and we're going to put the yellow holder on to the pin we're going to put the pin with the facing out and then we're going to put that into the second last hole okay now step 9 is to take that and a length of 13 and a 1 and we're going to now feed this here snapping that on pull make sure everything's pulled tight and we're going to put this onesie here okay on the inside of the gray next is to mount the track the track is here it's a little bit tricky you have to use a little bit of force but don't be afraid to pull it and then test it just to make sure it rolls freely okay that, and I knew it wasn't right the front tread has to be lined up yes the front tread has to be lined up with the front so that was on the wrong side I apologize there we go. That makes more sense. That makes more sense. Our frame out. Okay. Don't forget it's got to go like this so that the front piece is in the motor. Okay, I'm trying to hold this funny. So put the center piece in the center of the motor. Let's go. There we go. And then the back piece slides in like that. Okay. And there. Now we've got it built. Now the next and final step is once you have your brick on top, like I said, mine won't fit, so I'll fix that later. You're going to now, sorry, turn that around. You're going to have it like this. Apologize for that. And now you're going to take your cables and you're going to snap it in like that. Actually, you know what? I think it crosses over. That goes into C. The right one goes into C and the left one goes into B. 
BMC are always the large motor controls. And like I said, I'm going to connect that later. If you want to see how to connect this, just drop me a list, drop me something in the comments. But really, all I'm going to do is just build this up so this fits on. Okay, so that's the end of that. And we should be ready to go. Okay, bye bye.